almost quit React Native last week and I'm pretty sure some of you have been on the edge or even crossed that line before. So what happened? Well this is a story of rage and losing faith and we could probably talk about an hour for this but essentially I spent two days debugging really nasty issues in my new React Native application. I had some text flickering, I toggled off the new architecture which seemed to cause the problem, which is sad in itself, but with the new architecture disabled I had more package problems and then I had some build problems and then I enabled the new architecture again and I still had the build issues and in the end finally at some point I was again able to build my app. But after two days of debugging I felt really really bad and honestly I was thinking in bed about quitting React Native and just going for Swift UI because it looks so good and you can develop so fast and as an indie developer it's maybe enough but is that really the alternative to quitting React Native? When we encounter these problems we usually think that the grass is greener on the other side so Swift UI or Jetpack Compose or maybe even Flutter but don't get me started on Flutter maybe those things are better but are there really an alternative? If you look closely at what React Native offers and what these platforms have, you're gonna see that they're actually not an alternative. What you get right now from React Native is incredible, especially things like API routes, the speed in which you can develop. We now have Expo UI components, everything related to EAS and hosting. You can target all the platforms, you can bring in Tailwind and Compare that stuff and especially Live Reload to Swift and you're gonna see that native developers constantly have to redeploy their application. Things break. It's not. The grass is not greener on the other side. You can really trust me on that. So although those days were really really painful, I will stick with React Native. The benefit of being in the React and React Native ecosystem just completely outweighs every benefit that I would get from a native platform. And I actually still have access to the native platforms by using Expo modules for example, which is unbelievably easy to wrap your native functionality and then use it in your React Native app. So with that new passion I'm now moving forward again and now I just have to wait until Apple finally reviews my application because my new application has been in review for over a week which never happened to me before but that's probably a story for another video.